There's another unit of measure for angles besides degrees called a radian. It's commonly used by engineers, mathematicians, and scientists when using graphs of trigonometric equations, which we'll get to later in this series. To understand what a radian is, imagine a circle of radius r. We take that length, r, start at the right edge of the circle on the x-axis, and wrap it around the circumference of the circle in the positive direction as far as it will go. It has an endpoint on the circle, and we know that points on the circle correspond to standard position angles. This point corresponds to an angle of one radian. You can think of one radian as one radius worth of angle. Now for two quick vocabulary words before we provide a more official definition. An arc length is the distance along a curve between two points. A common symbol for arc length is lowercase s, which we'll use in this video series. And the verb subtend means to cut or limit from two sides. So the official definition of radian is the size of an angle that subtends an arc length of one radius. The abbreviation for radian is RAD. We'll talk about its units in just a moment. An angle smaller than one radian will subtend an arc length less than one radius. An angle greater than one radian will subtend an arc length greater than one radius. When the angle is exactly one radian, the arc length is exactly one radius. So there's a mathematical relationship between arc length, radius, and theta, where theta is expressed in radians. If you know two of them, you can find the third. Arc length s equals theta times radius. We can rewrite this equation to isolate theta. Theta equals arc length s over radius r. And we can isolate radius r equals s over theta. You only need to memorize one of these from which you can derive the other two. I memorized the first one, s equals theta r, which tells me, in English almost, that the arc length is theta radii. These equations are valid only when the angle theta is expressed in radians, not degrees. Last point. Notice from equation 2 that theta in radians equals a distance divided by another distance. The units of measure cancel out, and radians is a unit of angle measure which itself is dimensionless, since it's the length of the subtended arc divided by the length of the radius. It's just a number, the number of radii in an arc length. Let's try a problem. On a circle whose radius is 4.0 meters, what angle in radians subtends an arc length of 2.0 meters? Write down the arc length equation, whichever one you chose to memorize. Since we're asked to find an angle, let's rewrite the equation in terms of theta. Plug in our values for arc length and r, and we get an angle of 0 0.50 radians. Note from the picture that the arc length is half the radius, so the angle is half a radian. One more. On a circle, a central angle of two radians subtends an arc length of 12 yards. What's the radius of the circle? Now this picture is absolutely not to scale. In fact, two radians is an obtuse angle. But we'll trust our equations and not our eyes. This time, we're asked for the radius, so rewrite the equation to solve for r. r equals arc length divided by theta. Plug in our values, and we get a radius of 6 yards. I said earlier that you could think of a radian as a radius worth of angle. In this not-to-scale picture, you can see that two radians subtends an arc length of two radii. The number of radians in the angle equals the number of radii in the arc length. Also note from the last line that since radians is unitless, yards divided by radians equals yards. There are more sample problems like this in video TR-05X. We know that 360 degrees makes up a circle, or full angle. So how many radians are in a full circle? Since one radian is one radius worth of angle, this is the same thing as asking how many radii are in a circle's circumference. You should remember from geometry that a circle's circumference is pi times the diameter. Since the diameter is 2 times the radius, this means a circle's circumference is 2 times pi radii, which means there are 2 pi radians in a full circle or a full rotation angle. Let's count them out. We already have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus a little extra, 
as it turns out, about 6.283 radians, which is indeed 2 pi radians rounded to three decimal places. In the next video, TR-06, we'll cover how to express common angles in radians.